So I crawl up on there. I get up on it and I'm like, yeah! Okay. It was right here. It was right here. Okay, stinks. Um, I'm not even dressed for this. I haven't brushed my hair, but I was testing out lighting. I was testing out placement. And you know what? This is where we ended up. Just gotta get that G out, baby. Come on. Boom. Okay, so it's gonna be a Q&A, baby. A lot of y'all ask me a lot of questions and I avoid them because I have issues and I'm sensitive. But I post things making fun of myself and then as soon as somebody responds also making fun of me, I go, <laughs> that wasn't an open invitation. I posted on my Instagram, asked me questions, I answered a few on there, and I thought that I'd finish it up by answering them on here. Period. First question, am I into 50 year old men? Um, I have never dated a guy over 33. I've actually only dated three, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say three people because I'm salty, but I dated four people in my life and they were all the same age as me. And then all of a sudden I said, wild card, let's go 33, baby. Let's mi mix it up, okay? Let's just stir the pot a little bit. If I met a really amazing person, he happened to be in his 50s, it would suck because I don't want to have a kid and then have to raise it by myself after he dies. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Don't take that the wrong way though, because I know a lot of people are gonna be like, my parents are 30 years apart and they let me just, okay, perfect. That's congratulations to your parents. Why did you get another boob job? Yes, that's right, y'all. The rumors are out and they're true. I got two boob jobs and let me tell you about them. First one, this one fell out of the pocket and it honestly looked so effing bad to the point where it was embarrassing and I didn't ever want anyone to see me naked. I had one friend look at me and go, why are your nipples so high up? Yes, because I fell out of the pocket, that's why. So I got them redone, I got them bigger, and just they look so much, they look so much better. Okay, they look so much better. Not even a year apart, too. Do I struggle sleeping with them? Um, honestly, to answer your question, yes. I have to wear two sports bras to really keep them in place, because if I want to sleep on my side, it starts to get sore. But it's honestly good, because you're supposed to sleep on your back so you don't get as many wrinkles. So you know what, they're helping me. So I'm okay, I can sleep on my back. Have I ever had a relationship? <laughs> Have I ever had a relationship? I'm gonna be honest with you, my first love effed me up. I am not the same person up there. I am always losing a little bit. And honestly, it haunts me, okay? I know people are like, maybe you're not over him. Bestie, there's no way we're gonna rekindle it. As much as there's a part of me that's like, oh, I hope he's doing well, I hope he's doing well. That man cheated on me so many times, it drove me insane. It made me cheat on him. and I. And I feel guilty about it, even though, you know what, karma's a bitch, that's all I'm gonna say. People wanna know if I got a BBL. <laughs> so you're saying you think my butt looks big? <laughs> I did not get a BBL. Honestly, my butt is not that big. It's all angles, baby. If you make somebody get down low, your butt's gonna look amazing. Not saying I don't have a nice butt. I do have a nice butt. But I'm telling you, a low angle and a side twist, it gets you right. Um, my best friend is a giant ass, and honestly, being next to her, I'm humbled. I'm humbled. So when y'all ask me about my BBL that I never got, I'm flattered. I do my little weights in my room sometimes. Like, I do little workouts in my room, but never like, I'm scared of the gym, okay? I'm scared of the gym. How tall am I? I started a rumor about myself that I was 5'11", and people have been, are having a hard time realizing it was a joke. I started being like, you know what? People started thinking I was being serious, and girls were DMing me being like, being like as a tall girl, you really inspire me. And I'm like, fuck me, it blew up in my face. I'm 5'3". I know, I know. I look tall. I'm telling you, every time I meet someone, they go, I thought you'd be so much taller. Yeah, me too. I've been saying that since I came out, since I crawled out of my mom, I've been saying that. But you know, I didn't get those genetics. Okay, my dad's like 5'10". 5'9", honestly, but he says he's 5'11". We're all liars here. It all started with me borrowing a girl's ID to go to the club, and it said f she was 5'11", and I went, oh. Hopefully they don't notice that one, and they didn't. I wish I was tall, I wish I was a supermodel. That's, that's my biggest dream in life, so you know what? I'm very insecure about my height, and I stand by that. Do I get tired of people asking me about my body? Let me answer that real quick for you. No. I love it. I love it. I've wanted to be sexy my whole life. I wanted to be hot my whole life. I remember being a little kid and stuffing my bra and looking into the mirror and going, I wish they were real. I just want big boobs. I'd hold on to my boobs and stretch them out. I'd really like, they're going to have to get big. I needed them big. It wasn't a good time for me. I love it. Y'all think I'm sexy. Y'all think I'm crazy. I grew up the weird girl. I was the weird girl. Okay. I was never the pretty girl in school. I was never the sexy girl in school. And then I, all of a sudden I started developing and... <laughs> Y'all wanted to start saying hi to me. That's it. I didn't have these then, but my butt I did. I'm not trying to be sexy. Or am I? Where was my incision? Underneath. It's super small. It's literally like this big, but you don't even see them. The boobs lay over top of them. 
I got another question about my skinny BBL. <laughs> At this point, I think you guys are making it up just to make me flattered, okay? That's what I think it is. A lot of y'all like to ask me what I've had done on my face. Just lip injections. I haven't gotten lip injections in almost a year, and everyone still comments being like, you, just, you need to stop getting lip injections. You need to stop getting lip injections. Please, I've listened. I've listened to the comments. I stopped. Or people are like, she needs to stop touching her face. Baby, the only thing that touched my face is God. God touched my face in some makeup. But you know what? Those lips, on the other hand, mind your business. You mind your business. My first job, and babysitting doesn't count. Okay, fine. I did babysit, though. That was what I was doing for money for a long time, you know. And then, you know, someone tried to F me, and then that was really awkward. And then, you know, my parents still, like, think that it's not as traumatizing as it was on me. But that's fine. We just don't, we just don't say it. We just don't talk about it. And that's fine. But it did make me learn that I'm not going to have my kids do that, okay? I'm not having my daughters babysit no kids. Maybe your cousin. You can, you can babysit your cousin. Or your little brother or something. Like, I'm sorry. I'm not sending my kid over to some stranger's house to watch their kids when they got a father there that is inappropriate. You just don't know, okay? And I've been traumatized, so I know better now. What was the question? Oh, my first job, I worked at Dutch Bros. I was like, I was a barista, but I wore clothes. I wore a lot of clothes, honestly. I would only wear the sweatshirts and beanie and a mask because it was during COVID. And that was really where my, my like talking skills started to come out. You know, it was hard at first. I was very awkward. I was very uncomfortable. Like keeping a conversation going with someone who doesn't want to talk to you as your manager is sitting there being like, go on, go on, keep talking, keep talking. They don't want to talk to me, but okay. It's 5 a.m. So what do we got going on today? Nothing? Oh, work? Oh my God, where do you work? Um, the bank. Oh my God. I love the bank. Like, what the hell am I supposed to say? And I had to keep a conversation going, and that's where I started to learn. And then I realized I wasn't making enough money for what I was doing, so I said, you know what? How can I expand this naked? And that's how I started working in my underwear for money. Making my parents proud. <laughs> They're so proud of me. My worst hookup story. I don't, I don't even know how to tell you all this. I've made, I've made mistakes. I've made mistakes. Okay, I one time pooped on somebody. It was an accident. Let me start with that. It was an accident. But I wouldn't say it's the worst story because we were dating for like a year and a half, so it really wasn't that deep. Also, if you're putting it in the back door, you know that you know the consequences of that. You know that there's a probability you might get shot on. Okay, sorry. I've had bad stories of boys leaning in to kiss me who I didn't want to kiss. That was awkward. That's always been bad. But I'm saying like full blown hookup. Like, all right, I was 15, okay? Let's set the scene for you. There's a new boy. He's so cute, okay? He played basketball. I was so excited about him. And he was like such a little hoe. So I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to pay any mind to him. He's two years older. He's never going to notice me. I'm a freshman. He's a junior or whatever. And he's noticing that I want nothing to do with him. And he's like, oh my God, she's different. Well, how I thought. That's how I imagined it in my head. I really thought I was Bella from Twilight, to be honest with you. Like, I was like, yeah, you don't even want him, whatever. And then all of a sudden he started being really nice to me. And he was hot as hell at the time. Now he's really not. I'm going to be honest with you. Ooh. No, we hang out, whatever. We start, you know, hanging out after school in his car. He would drive me to a dead end street and we'd like make out. And I thought that was like something special, you know, because he was like the, he was like the second guy I'd ever hung out with. You know what I mean? So I was like, you know what? Maybe we have something. Maybe he's my husband. Maybe this is different. This is my like where I'm meant to be. And I was like telling my parents, I'm like, yeah, I really like him. They're like, when are we going to meet him? Um, he did not have those plans. Let's just say that. I, I read the room wrong. I was not reading the room. Um, taking me to a dead end street to make out isn't a date, but I thought it was at 15. I was like, oh my God. He would tell me like, oh my God, you're so developed for a 15 year old. And I'd be like, strange, but okay. But at the time I was like, yeah, I'm different. I'm different, I'm different, I'm different. How many times can I have him say that? He takes me to his mama's house and I'm like meeting his parents. So I'm like, oh my God, it's so serious. Like we're like meant to be, he loves me. And I show up and we're in his room and he turns off all the lights and he has blackout curtains. And it's like mm, maybe one in the afternoon. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's fine whatever he's like calling me his girlfriend he's like yeah i'm with my i'm with my girl right now so i'm like <laughs> i got a little bit too excited and then all of a sudden we started to do the nasty and it didn't feel very good so i kind of was like eh. you know he he wasn't working with a lot let's just say that i wish i it was right here it was right here it looked a little deformed too and it was purple so i was a little bit confused on that one. and all of a sudden i see the flash turn on oh no 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 I'm like, what are you doing? He stops it. 
we finish in two he finishes in two seconds and then i watch him send it to all of his friends and then I had to deny that I ever hooked up with him to everybody at school for the next three years. I was like, I never hooked up with him. He's lying. That's not me in the video. That's not me in the video. <laughs> yeah, that one was a rough one. That was a rough one. Everyone thought I was just like this massive hoe at this time. But I'm like, I love him. And then a few months later, all of a sudden, his real girlfriend that I had no idea about hit me up and sent me a bunch of videos of them doing it to like show me like he's mine. And I had to be like, girl, have fun. What was the last song I listened to? That Okay, you know what? And that's why I love you, and that's with Kanye and Jay Z, and featuring Mr. Hudson. Oh yeah, I was answering questions. One thing that you know now that you wish you knew back then. I wish that I knew not to trust men. I remember when I didn't really talk to my parents, and there was like this random guy who was really helping me out, and then he stole ten thousand dollars from me. And I really trusted him and really looked up to him, so it was really mean. It was really hurtful. And I, it's funny that I say that because I literally have a post on my Instagram from freshman year that says, don't trust anybody. You know, you really don't listen to your own advice. I still don't. I'm going to be honest with you. There are some things that I'm like, if this was happening to your best friend, what would you tell her? Ugh. But you know what? It's not. It's happening to me and I can hurt myself all I want. My dream date, baby. Actually, let me tell you a date that I went on that was absolutely insane and honestly made me a whore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, basically this guy picks me up, whatever. I'm like, where are you taking me? He's like, it's a surprise. Okay, and he's really sexy. So we go to like this like hour long drive and he stops to get gas. He opens up my door and hands me a bouquet of flowers. And I was like, okay, period gas station flowers. But they were really pretty. Like somebody was selling them outside. And I was like, aw. And then he gets in the car and then he drives me to the zoo. And I'm like, oh, I love the zoo. Like this is a really nice surprise. Oh, was it? All of a sudden, he's like, hey, can you stand over there as I go do this? And I'm like, okay, like maybe he's paying for something and doesn't want me to see the price. I walk over and it was cute, whatever. And then all of a sudden, these people are like, so, Grace, would you like to know what your surprise is? And I was like, what do you, how do y'all people know me? Anyway, and he basically paid a bunch of money to like adopt, adopt, like you like pay a bunch of money to like say that you get like the tiger. You know what I mean? Like you like have a little stone or something that says you like adopted the tiger. And he adopted a white tiger with me okay for this date and we got to feed all the tigers and if you don't know i got two tigers on my back okay i f with tigers and i was like no way and i get a little stuffed animal and i still have it actually i'll show it to you he literally like they hand me this tiger do y'all see that it's the tiger that he adopted in our names and we got to feed the tigers enter a clip now yeah insane huh and then afterwards he takes me to the most insane hotel that has a waterfall if y'all seen love it love is blind it was they filmed them getting married there it was insane it was the most beautiful thing so i show up with my flowers and my tiger and he's carrying all my luggage and then i walk in and hand us they hand us champagne i'm like i'm not even 21 but okay i'm drinking the champagne he's like let's go for a walk okay so i'm walking around and there was a big wedding and guess what they did they handed me the bouquet I don't think it was the bride's bouquet, it was like the mom's bouquet, but it was fine. It was still, like, I got handed a bouquet and she's like, you guys are so beautiful together, like take this. So now I got two bouquets and a tiger and we're looking at the waterfall and then someone's like, oh my God, you guys are so cute together, are you guys celebrating anything? He says it's our honeymoon and then people start like gifting us things. I was like, are you serious right now? We get to the room, it's insane. It looks over the water. Uh, we then go to the casino, we get effed up we're dancing where he's good at dancing i'm like god i'm gonna fuck this man i'm gonna fuck this man okay we get back from the casino dancing all night driving fast in his sexy car he's looking sexy as hell to me i'm i'm telling you she was purring i heard Purr. what was that yeah it was that was exactly what it was like and we get back to the hotel we're kissing in the elevator you know what i mean it's getting hot i'm I'm telling y'all, that animal, the beast was coming out of me. We get to the room, I go change some lingerie, and then I come out and I go, hey. But my boobs were looking real funky because I had just gotten them done the month before, so it was, or like two months or so before. And I was like, Ew. and then all of a sudden I came out, and you know, he's like, should we like put on a movie? Which was honestly kind of a turn off, but you know what? Some guys get uncomfortable with all the silence whatever i didn't care at that point you know what he can watch a damn movie in the background because he just took me on the best date of my life and 
<laughs> I I didn't know that hotels because I don't really stay in hotels. You could buy um, corn, but with a P, not a C. And so I was like, oh, what are adult stuff? And I click on it. And I go, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I did not know this was like all porn. So he goes, let's buy one. Huh? Did he just say let's purchase a corn video? We play like we just pick one with a funny name. I think it was like. Oops, your wife's home or something. It was a weird threesome video, but you know what? Whatever he wants to watch. And you know what? The girls in it were Audi girls. So I was like, represent. Yeah, you got a little extra flap on there. And that's what I liked. So we're like kissing whatever. He's like, sit on my box. And so I crawl up on there. I get up on him. I'm like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's getting freaky to you. All of a sudden, we're out on the back deck. I'm looking over the waterfall. Just, you know what I'm saying? He He's pouring, he's pouring water. I thought it was water, maybe it was champagne or something. I don't know. He's pouring it on me. I'm, I'm an animal. I'm telling you, I'm drunk as hell. Just we end it back in the room, and I, I was thinking, you don't know what you did to me, but you did something. Yeah, that's the best date I've ever been on. It was phenomenal, and we stayed an extra night the next day, and went had a whole other day that was freaking awesome. That is the best date, and that's what we're gonna end it on. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I adore you guys. You guys are my favorite people in the entire world and constantly take away all my insecurities and make me feel good about myself. And I just feel like I have such good friends because of you guys. I love you. Peace out.